introducing the Green MP for the South West and also the six parliamentary candidates for Gloucestershire. The commitment these people are showing is, is really staggering. And before I hand over to Molly, our Green MEP, I wonder what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> the personal cost of standing really is quite staggering and not often appreciated. I do understand the cost and I appreciate your commitment, I appreciate your courage and also I really appreciate your desire to see real change for Gloucestershire and for our country. Yeah.
I'm very proud that we've got a full slate already in Gloucestershire, and I'm very proud to be able to present them to you. I've got small biographies on each of them, which I'm not going to read out, because they're very interesting people, and you can ask them questions yourself in a minute. But I have noticed that amongst the candidates, we have somebody, you can guess which one is this now, somebody who cycled from Land's End to John O'Groats. <laughs> we've got four candidates on the panel who've made a practical contribution by working for renewable energy in different ways. All the candidates live in their constituencies where they're standing and have a history of campaigning on green issues and listening to their communities. And I'm just going to finish by quoting James Greenwood, who wrote something I totally believe and I think is, is a really good point to end on. He said, politics for me is about policies, ideas that can change and shift people's ways of thinking. I'm not expecting a revolution because I think the revolution is around us. Climate change, peak resources, shared resources, meaningful and sustainable jobs are at the centre of the political debate. It's the Green Party that has the policies to turn this situation of crisis into a peaceful, just and sustainable future. Thank you.